On June 18, 1918, a troop train carrying soldiers from Camp MacArthur's 80th Field Artillery left Waco at 3.25 p.m. on the Cotton Belt Line headed into a southern training camp when a derailment north of Selby at 3.40 p.m. caused injury to 30 military personnel and four railroad employees, as well as the death of two soldiers, Corporals Lauren Harrell and August Hans Schumacher, Jr. During the derailment, the Baldwin locomotive's tender cistern detached from its frame, causing the first passenger coach, made of wood, to be demolished, causing injury and death to some of the passengers. The Interstate Commerce Commission, or the ICC, claimed that placing this lighter wooden coach between the locomotive and the heavier steel cars behind it undoubtedly increased the danger of injury to the passengers. After the incident, there was a great deal of speculation as to the cause of the mishap. The June 19, 1918 Waco News Tribune reported, the favorite opinion was that the bridge or the rails had been tampered with by persons knowing of the troop movement. With the U.S. into the second year of the involvement in World War I, it is not surprising that such theories of sabotage were being put forth. However, according to the ICC's report on the incident, the derailment occurred as the train approached a trestle crossing at the Tawakoni Creek. The agency concluded that a sun kink, which occurred during extreme heat causing rails to bulge or spread, and poor track conditions were the main factors of the accident.